New at five reaction after Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski claims Denver Mayor Mike Johnston and Governor Jared Polis conspired to sneak thousands of migrants into the city of Aurora. The Aurora City Council has approved a measure to investigate nonprofits that help migrants find housing. It authorizes the city's attorney's office to submit open records requests from Denver and the state to determine if migrants were intentionally shipped to Aurora. Kelly Worthman is your reporter in Aurora. And Kelly, what are nonprofits saying about this investigation? Michael, they tell me it's not only disappointing, it jeopardizes the work that they do. We all know that affordable housing is very difficult to find here in Colorado. That is especially true for migrants who are seeking a safe place to call home. And the organizations that help them do not have a say in dictating where they must live. The people of Aurora have a right to know. Republican City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski is calling for an investigation, believing nonprofits were directed to send migrants into Aurora. We've heard about the, the nonprofits that received all of this funding, taxpayer, American taxpayers' dollars uh, to move these people here. Yet executive directors of three local nonprofits that help migrant families say that's not true. We never received direction from any municipality about where people were going to live. They get to choose where they want to live, where their friends are, where their families are, where the kids were going to school, where their jobs are. They get to choose. And that includes the troublesome apartments that have gained national attention for gang violence and mismanagement. I believe there is a lack of information and understanding of the process and what we have done for the communities. And once again, we cannot tell a person you cannot go to this place or you need to go to this place. The approved resolution by council means Aurora City Manager will create a list of nonprofits that have received money to help migrants. Then council will look at how that money was used. There are some nonprofits that placed people in Aurora uh, and they did it in an irresponsible manner. Nonprofit leaders say Aurora's resolution unfairly targets the work they do all across Colorado and will do more harm than good. It really jeopardizes the safety and security of the communities that we all serve by putting us all in the spotlight and it puts a target on all of our backs. Leave our nonprofits alone. Let us do our work. So all three of those executive directors of those nonprofits tell me while they are disappointed with this resolution and again feel like they have a target on their backs, they remain focused on helping people find housing here in Colorado. Now, I also reached out to Denver mayor's office as well as the governor's office for comment on Jarinsky's claims. I did receive a statement from the Denver mayor's office. You can find that at cbscolorado.com, but I did not hear back from Governor Polis. Reporting live in Aurora, I'm Kelly Worthman covering Colorado first. Kelly, thank you so much for looking into that for us. And Kelly is one of three reporters covering Aurora for you. You can reach out to Kelly, Michael Abeda, or Tori Mason through CBSColorado.com.